I have a story to tell you that happened to my husband and I last summer. We got a phone call on August 20th that is the phone call that every parent dreads to get, saying that our son had been involved in a very serious car accident. Steve was in the hospital with a very bad head injury and he had wounds that were so serious that they were going to have to amputate his arm. So, over the next couple of weeks, we saw a lot. We heard a lot, and we depended a lot on God. After Steve left the hospital, he went to a rehabilitation center. And that's a place where you go to get well. He had to learn how to do everything over again with only one arm. He was in a lot of pain. It was a new place. All the noises were different. Routines were different. And he was really struggling. When I called him early in the morning after his first night, he sounded really down. And I was worried about him. I began to pray, Lord, please give him comfort. He just needs your comfort right now. And so I got to the hospital and it was a really rough day. The therapist didn't show up on time. We tried to keep him busy playing some card games and just keeping him occupied. The next therapist didn't show up. Right as I was getting ready to leave, the night nurse who was starting her shift came into his, into his uh, hospital room and she introduced herself to us. She said, hello, my name is Comfort. And my jaw fell down and I gave her a big hug and I told her that I had been praying all day that God would give him comfort and here she was in flesh and blood. And so that's my miracle today, boys and girls. Sometimes we don't even know what to expect. Through good times and bad times, he is there with us. And it reminds me of a verse from the Old, Old Testament book of Malachi. It says, you will see it with your eyes and say, great is the Lord.